a very good morning and welcome back to your own channel see the soul the truth lies within and on this channel before we go ahead we are going to have a look at the different links in the playlist and if you're listening to this on instagram do go ahead and look at the link down below for youtube channel and over there you can go ahead and you can find out about yogasana's diet your flexibility and at the same time you can find out about relationships and many other things just have a look at the link and share it with others if you like what you see now what is today's blessing the 209th day of our blessing in which god the father wants us to be constantly stable in every situation it is easier said than done but then this is the practice which god wants us to have and finally we shall achieve it so what is that practice let's have a look what is baba have to say Baba says, "May you be complete and perfect, complete and perfect, equal to the Father, and have the same stage in praise and defamation, in victory and defeat." Now again, I'm saying it's easier said than done, but then this is the practice which God wants us to do. So let's understand what does Baba have to explain here. Baba says, "When a soul reaches the stage of completion, completion means there's no ego, there's no jealousy, there are no weaknesses within." or there is no attraction to things or there are no wants or desires to an extreme that is where there is perfection he maintains equanimity in praise and defamation victory and defeat happiness and sorrow even in the midst of sorrow instead of having waste of sorrow on your face and having those waves of sorrow on your face or forehead let waves of happiness and joy be visible so think about you going through some kind of suffering it could be a health issue it could be a financial issue it could be a relationship issue and that is bringing sorrow to your life or it should bring sorrow to your life it is there at the back of the mind it is looming around but still yet you are smiling you are enjoying yourself and i believe those people those souls who are able to do this they are great souls and that is what god wants us to become exactly like that he wants us to be smiling he wants to be us to be happy amidst all sorrows amidst all weaknesses where a normal human being who doesn't have this spiritual knowledge will succumb to it will get into depression or will go into any form of negativity or will spiral down into taking more negative actions whereas god wants us to be happy and joyful in that so baba says even while hearing any defamation if suppose somebody is defaming you or is complaining or is blaming you for anything which you have done do not feel it to be defamation but praise worthy words to make you mature in your stage of perfection that means you are going through that experience you are becoming more and more mature if somebody is defaming you you are thinking about gaining more and more power and more and more experience while going through that defamation now if we don't keep any target of any achievement in our life whether it's about praise or about, about any form of achievement then we will not feel any form of defamation but if we have any form of targets or achievements which we want to achieve in our life or if we have high hopes or high desires from ourselves then obviously the small words will also pinch us so in this kal yuga god has said that live life very simply if you have any form of higher desires or bigger goals in life towards wealth or towards any other area of your life and your expectations are very high towards yourself then obviously even smaller words will feel a lot smaller losses will feel big so that's why god says live your life as it comes and enjoy itself and at the same time try to make yourself more powerful and try to make yourself more and more stable in your mind so but praiseworthy words to make you mature in your stage of perfection when you have such equanimity you will then be said to be equal to the father equal to the father means over here we are talking about brahma the one who was the first student of god or the first child of god who was taught how to become stable in this present kali yuga or in the present times so baba says do not have the slightest attitude of someone being an enemy if somebody says something somebody takes away something from you don't think that they are your enemies they have come to teach you something make you mature make you wiser make you more experienced and then baba says 
enemy and coming to insult you and another one coming to praise you so if you make somebody who insults you as an enemy and somebody who praises you as your friend as we discussed in yesterday's uh, yesterday's word and what exactly god was saying is that we have to be very careful especially in kal yoga when somebody is praising you a lot is trying to be too friendly with you that means there's something wrong somebody is somebody is trying to take something from you but when somebody is somebody who tries to not put you down but correct you and is trying to point fingers at you that's the time you should accept that person and not blame him or label him or her as an enemy so i hope you understand what god wants us to achieve i am also working hard towards it it's not that i have achieved it i am working towards it every day is a challenge every day new situations arise we make mistakes and we we face them sometimes we get into bad mood sometimes we get, go into sorrow but remembering this vardhan is what brings you back up remembering and having this remembrance of god and his words what brings you up and then you pick up from where from where you have left you pick up your dust and you just move on and you grow ahead so i leave you with this beautiful word and if you have any form of comments if you want something which you want to share yourself you can leave it in this either on the instagram or the twitter or on this youtube channel itself in the comment section so have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti